building on the momentum of the first day of India's call to action on child survival and development, the second day brought us many specifics. First of all, we heard about the miraculous potential of things like oral rehydration solutions for diarrhea, exclusive breastfeeding in the first six months of life, as well as the diagnosis and treatment of pneumonia, the main killer of babies in the world and in India. We are also moving now on neonatal interventions and a lot of innovation for resource poor settings. The second great theme of the day was health systems. Health systems is about the how. How do we go about delivering those wonderful, miraculous solutions to the vast scale of populations in India? And we heard about the importance of both the public provision, but also engaging the private sector for quality provision and for extending services, including, of course, voluntary organizations and NGOs. Importantly, I was really impressed with the 800,000 ashes or community health volunteers that are bringing all of the basics all the way to each village in India. We will need to have many more if we're going to reach all of the potential that we, that we are expecting here. And finally, we heard about the importance of management. Uh, both scorecards for accountability, for comparability, for lessons. And there's a fantastic set of scorecards that have been developed at the national level, at the state level, at the district level. And we close the day with the importance of communications. And as we are right now, communications is indeed essential. Not only to reach the general communities in, uh, in general audiences, but all the way down to communities to change behavior, to change behavior that makes a difference in saving the lives of children.